terms of a pro sports atmosphere, I cannot think of anything bigger. This place is deafening as Conor McGregor makes his latest walk to the octagon. Every time McGregor walks to the octagon, John, it feels like the Super Bowl. I can imagine that's the only thing that matches the energy inside an arena when the notorious one hits the curtain. People love this guy. People love this guy because of his ability, though. They love the fact that he can go out there and put a person out with one left hand. They love the fact that he has shown an ability to compete at the top of the sport for a really long time. They also love the fact that he does not apologize for being him. He is Conor McGregor. You're gonna love him or you're gonna hate him, but he won't change. And many have wondered aloud as to whether or not he would be back competing in the UFC, but in terms of scratching his competitive inch, there's only one proven ground in the world on which he can do it. It is the Octagon. Great to see Conor McGregor. Introductions. We go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Game third man in the Ready octagon fight. for this one. Ready. All right, so as we get this stand up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set no grappling or wrestling of any type. And fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Well, a few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Tries the flying knee to no avail. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's 
not taking those damaging strikes up top. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurt. Oh, oh still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the foot. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him come off the hook like that, because now he's... Oh, how about this? Just out of range with that strike. Ferguson gets caught by that straight punch there. Slip. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, huge connection there. He landed in perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Oh, and he caught the kick. And now some separation. Ferguson's now dealing with a cheat cut. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, round two is now upon us. Tony Ready Ferguson against Ready. that man. You might recognize him. He is Conor McGregor. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston and it means it. It's like an atabot. Like he hits people and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep it. Right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Bam! Oh, he hit him again! Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, big elbow. Massive head kick. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks and... Strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between them. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse. Oh, do it! Oh my goodness!
the official decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor. All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast, and that left hand is a weapon of mass destruction. Once again, he got it off, he landed, and got the KO finish.